Displaying the balanced scorecard. On the top line is the name of the currently selected strategic plan, and to the right is the usual general message area. To the right of the tabs are five buttons. These are to move the organizational tree boundary left or right. This allows you to use more of the screen for the grid displays. Zoom text size. Increase or decrease the text size as required. The zoom applies to the zone recently clicked on. Pop-up help. Enable mouse over pop-up help messages. Tab pages. The main screen uses the ribbon tab control containing five tab pages. Each tab has several ribbon groups. Each group contains screen controls. Tree node tab. The nodes ribbon group has a slider bar that expands or collapses the tree nodes by their level. Above this are buttons to display the average objective gauge values, if you are using objective gauges. Next is the Add New Tree Node group. You can select which kind of node to add. The next ribbon group is the clipboard. This allows you to duplicate nodes using copy and paste. Please note that the terms Department, Unit and Employee can be changed in either the New Plan Wizard or the Options module. The next is the Move Tree Node group. In here you can move a node or branch around the tree. If the selected node contains subordinate nodes, then the entire tree branch is moved. Next is the Delete Mode button. This facility only applies to single nodes. The final button is the Save Changes. This applies only when you want to save the name and other details such as the role statement. When you make changes to the structure of the tree, these are automatically saved. Display Scorecard tab. This displays a balanced scorecard for the currently selected tree node. If the tree node is a container, such as an organization, region or department, then the scorecard for all employees in that container is displayed. It is important to note that in this system there are three major display concepts which take advantage of the numerous one-to-many relationships. The first of these is a split grid system. Every objective row can have unlimited rows in the initiatives grid, which in turn can have many monthly cells. Plus there is a choice of two different styles of monthly grids that can be used. The second display feature is the automatic cell merging, which provides a one-to-many relationship from left to right inside the grid. Thirdly, the grids can be combined into one large grid, which allows you to have initiative cells located in the objectives grid. When you combine the objectives and initiatives using a single grid display, the automatic cell merging provides the clarity and visibility. In dual grid mode, when you click on a merge cell, you get the aggregated subordinate grid for all merged rows. When you click on the grid header to sort by that column, the auto cell merge provides an ag aggregated display. When you export the grid to the chart module, you can choose any column to aggregate on. The Display Scorecard tab has five functional control groups. The first group simply displays the selected tree node. The next group has a toolbar containing the four display mode icons. These are single grid display, two grids, three grids, and tree view. If the current tree node is a manager, there is also an option to include all the subordinate data. The third group has the export facilities. When in multi-grid mode, the exporter grid is the one that was last clicked on. In the case of the chart facilities, there is no numeric data in the objectives grid by itself. So you need to use a single grid mode display to obtain aggregation using the objective grid columns. The fourth group has a single button which launches the column and monthly row filter. The filter has three tabs, one for each display mode. This allows you to show or hide columns in the objectives and initiatives grid as well as show or hide monthly grid rows. There are also some major display options such as hiding all the in initiatives grid columns in the single grid display mode. The fifth group contains the preview controls. 
This facility allows you to preview the display, similar to Print Preview, but also you can save the preview in several formats. There are toggle buttons for landscape mode, as well as for forced page breaks when in multi-grid mode. Editing the balance scorecard. The edit scorecard tab has six functional control groups, and the main screen contains the objectives and initiatives grid. Below these is the edit panel where all editing is done. Please note, it is our policy that the grids are for display only. Editing is never actually done inside the main display grids. We always provide a separate panel to do the editing. Also note that regions and departments are viewed only as containers and their scorecard is an aggregate of all their members. Hence there is no direct editing of scorecards for regions and departments and this allows you free to perform reactive restructuring should it be required. The first control group shows a currently selected tree node. The second control group allows you to add or delete objective grid rows. Note that you cannot delete an objective row when any initiatives are defined. The third control group allows you to reallocate an objective row to another person in the tree. This is an extremely powerful restructuring facility and should be used with care as the objective row and all initiatives will instantly be moved. The fourth group allows you to add or delete initiative grid rows. And the last group has an export to grid facility which works on the last clicked grid as shown in the zoom control area. Performing edits in the bottom panel. The editing panel is responsible for providing the edit facility. When you click on a grid cell the appropriate screen control is shown in the panel. If the cell belongs to a list based column, then you are shown a drop down list plus two buttons that allow you to change or add list items. If the cell belongs to a free text column, then a text editing box appears. And if this is for a document link, then a file name brown window is available. Please note that if you redefine the text of a list item, and this changes every occurrence of this text in the strategic plan. In the initiatives grid there are more column styles available and these include both date range and numeric columns. Monthly grids are also available and there are two types of grids both of which can be used. The progress or Gantt grid has a variety of cell styles whilst the finance or numeric grid can have the monthly row totals displayed as cells inside the initiatives grid. The progress grid can be set up differently for each initiative, whilst the numeric grid is the same for all rows and is set up in the options module. Please note that the size of each monthly grid can be different for each initiative row. The number of monthly columns is set using a date range, plus there is a facility to mark months as invalid. The design of the monthly grid is based around a two-stage concept such as planned and actual or before and after. The cells on the actual row are not displayed if their month is not valid. Typically this would be if the month was still in the future. Hence the editing control icons for these monthly grids are shown as cells inside the initiative edit grid row. So you click on these grid cells to edit the monthly grids. Using numeric gauges the Objectives and Initiatives grid can also have a numeric gauge. The Objectives gauge is averaged from the Initiatives grid, which in turn can be averaged from a row in the monthly grids. Both the Organisational tree plus the Strategy map can show gauges that are averaged from the Objective grid gauges. Editing the Scorecard lists as a group. The Scorecard list tab has six functional control groups and the main screen has a grid which shows the selected list. Whilst you can edit the lists on the fly when building objective or initiatives grid, in this screen you can create and edit the lists as a group. The first two control groups have toggle buttons that allow you to select which list to work with. The next is a text box for editing the text, followed by buttons that control the editing facilities such as add, edit and delete. 
Note that if you edit the list text, then you change every occurrence of that text. And also, if a list item is currently used, then it cannot be deleted. If you need to find out where a list item is used, then this can be done using the drill down dashboard module. List data import tab. The import facility allows you to import both employees and grid column lists. It is highly flexible in that you can open the same list several times and easily make incremental imports. It is inflexible in that the import file needs a specific file structure and type. When you first click on the import tab, it displays Excel links to example import files. Please use these files as examples of how your import data must be structured. The file type is comma separated values, CSV, and the employees file has several columns, whilst the grid column lists simply have one entry per row. The importing process allows you to repeatedly use the same files. It shows you which entries have already been imported and you can import additional rows as required. When importing into the organizational tree, click on each destination node and then apply the incremental import. Then repeat the process as required. Summary the Balance Scorecard module allows you to cascade your strategy map objectives and choose these for any employee. You can then define other concepts which are primarily focused on how this objective applies to this employee, what progress has been made and what activities are being performed. It can also be used as an in-depth budgeting and costing mechanism with good facilities for comparing actual against planned in ways that can be different for each initiative. Thank you for watching this video demonstration.